And welcome to High School Physics Explained and today I would like to talk about the motor effect and in particular I want to refer to the situation where two current bearing wires are side by side and experience a force between them. So in this particular situation we have two wires hanging down and they are both embedded into a small beaker of mercury. And as you can see up here I have a current supply and a conventional current goes up into both of them uh, and will both head down and then because they're in the mercury and the mercury is connected to the negative supply we have two currents that are running downwards in the same direction. So what happens when I turn it on? Now you don't see a lot of uh, movement simply because I've tried to keep the current reasonably low but certainly there seems to be an attraction between the two. In this situation, what I've done is I've patched it in such a way the current leaves the red terminal over here, goes down one wire, through the mercury, back up the wire and back to the negative terminal. So in this case, what we have is two current bearing wires, but now the currents are in opposite directions. Let's see what happens. So now let's have a look at an animation to help us understand this better. So let's look at quickly uh, summarize what we've observed. So two wires carrying the current in the same direction. Well, what happens? We find that they attract. But why does that happen? Now, if I have two wires with the current going in the opposite direction, we find that they repel what's going on. In order to understand that, we need to understand what happens with each individual wire. So let's start first of all with the situation where we have the currents going in the same direction and if you notice here I have colored them individually so that we know that they are two different currents. The first thing to understand is, is that the red current actually develops a magnetic field that is circular around it and as you can see the magnetic field lines are coming out of the page on the left hand side and into the page on the right hand side. Similarly speaking the blue wire or the blue current has also a magnetic field around it and as you can see the magnetic fields are coming out of the page to the left of that blue wire and into the page on the other side. Can you see what's going on? You will notice that the red current is in the blue's magnetic field. Similarly speaking the blue current is in the red's magnetic field. And that's actually really important to help you understand. Using the right hand palm rule, you will understand that the current going up the page and the magnetic field it experiences, the blue ones going out of the page, will cause it to experience a force towards the right. Similarly speaking, the blue current going up the page is experiencing a red magnetic field Using your right hand palm rule, that will mean it will be experiencing a force towards the left. In essence, what you observe is an attraction between the two. Now let's examine the situation where the currents are in the opposite direction. Again, the magnetic fields of both the red and the blue are shown. You notice too, by the way, that the magnetic field between the two wires is now stronger because they're all going in the same direction. But again, let's explain it from using our understanding of our right hand palm rule for the motor effect. So we have a current going up the page in terms of red, experiencing a force towards the left due to the fact that the magnetic field that is it is in is going into the page. Similarly speaking, the current going down the page, the blue one, is in red's magnetic field. It will experience a force towards the right. In essence, what you see is a repulsion between the two. And so there you have it. Two wires, if they're in, uh, the currents are in the same direction, they will attract, and if they're in opposite directions, they will repel. So what about the mathematics of this? So let's have a look at this situation and we'll concentrate on using the example of the two currents going in the same direction. And what I discuss here will apply equally to the other situation. Now, of course, the force that the red wire is experiencing is due to 
F equals B I L, where B is the magnetic field developed by the blue wire and the current is the red current and L is the length of wire in that magnetic field. But the strength of the magnetic field that the blue wire is generating is equal to K I over D and K is a constant which is related to the permeability of free space. Uh, in this case, our K is equal to two by 10 to the power of negative seven. And as you can see, if I were to substitute one into the other, what I end up getting is F is equal to K I1 I2 L over D. In other words, the force that is experienced between the two wires is equal to the product of the two currents multiplied by the length of the wires in that magnetic field divided by the distance between them. Now, sometimes this is also written as F over L is equal to K I1 I2 over D. Why is that? Well, when you've got high voltage power lines, the force obviously is determined between the two power lines that are run side by side and the force obviously is dependent how long the wire is. So we're often referring to the force as the force per unit length. So we work out the force per meter to give you this particular value. So there you have it. There's the force between two current bearing wires. Hope that has helped you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I hope you found that video useful. And remember, like, share and subscribe. Oh, and if you have a comment or a question, or you'd like a concept for me to explain to you, please drop a comment down below. I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained. Bye for now.